Well, the Indy Chamber and Indiana University Kelly School of Business have launched a free multi-part webinar to help business owners reopen and recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Instructors from Kelly will provide insight and strategies to rebuild businesses as they begin to reopen. The webinars are part of the Chamber's Rapid Recovery Hub, which offers a host of initiatives to help business owners. The series is free, open to the public, but there is a 500-person cap on the number of registrants per episode. Topics include managing staff, marketing, and cope, uh, coping with supply chain risks in that post-pandemic world. Adam Bertner is the manager of policy and political affairs for the Indy Chamber. He says topics have been based on questions from businesses uh, that have been received over the last two months. Kind of giving folks some clarity on um, how they can reopen and be successful post-COVID-19. Obviously, we're going to be dealing with this for a really long time, um, but we've just heard a lot of them say, you know, we don't even know if we should open yet. Um, you know, even for our bid, we don't know if customers will come back. So we'll hire back our employees, but we don't know if we're ever gonna have the clientele or the, or the um, customers to even sustain the folks we're hiring back. And so a lot of those questions are swirling. There's, a, there's um, I think a lot of optimism, but a lot of cautious optimism. And that's what we hope we give, um, you know, a lot of people pay a lot of money to, to go to, you know, get their MBA and learn from, the best and brightest of the Kelly School. And so we're hoping this gives everybody access to some of that information and, and on the whole helps our entire city um, bounce back. Each of the sessions uh, will be about 45 minutes in length, followed by some Q&A. And recordings of those sessions will be made available on the Indy Chambers site, uh, held each Tuesday uh, and Thursday through June uh, 18, and uh, will be taught by Kelly faculty in Indianapolis and Bloomington.